Here's an example of how you can use triads to play through the G major scale. The nice thing with using triads when you improvise is that you get away from that note by note scale approach. Which gets boring instead of you go. G major, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, F sharp diminished. and back to G major, one octave higher. Now if you play them like that, they also sounds quite boring and repetitive. <clears throat> so let's look at some ways you can tie each into it the other. One way you could do it would be to play doing there is I'm playing first the, uh, the three notes from the G triad, the G major triad, and then I'm moving up to the next triad by starting at the top note and go down. That's the A minor triad. So here's again. G major. diminished and back to G major and you can play it the opposite direction of course and that can open up your playing quite a bit uh, you can, for example, be, be playing in uh, E minor and you play the pentatonic scale. And now you can throw in a G major triad. See, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm playing the G major triad here. And then go into that note, which is E, in case we're playing over an E minor. played A minor triad. And this is the B minor triad. E minor, B minor. As an example. This is the general idea and you can then take it further and experiment. I use this type of playing quite a bit um, when I improvise over lots of different styles of music. It's a good uh, way to get away from that uh, note after note scale approach. Which, uh, it gets kind of boring after a while, or repetitive. See that makes it so the notes jump far away, farther away, really quick. arpeggio there. And then 
you can go back into uh, your minor pentatonic any time you want. If it's an E, for example. Here's one more variation on the same idea. Starting here with the G major triad again, then go into the top note of the A minor triad, but only playing that top note and then back. So repeating that pattern for each triad. I don't recommend that you play every triad one by one like that throughout the scale, of the G major scale, because it sounds really repetitive too. So you just pick out some of them and get familiar with where they are on the neck. For example, then I started with a B minor triad. Then you just note, ending on the note E, because I'm simulating E minor here. Give you some ideas. <laughs> 